2021 is the year of crypto. This creates some massive job opportunities, especially for blockchain developers. But learning blockchain development can be tough. There are so many blockchain technologies, so many prerequisites, and everything changes so fast. Is it hopeless? Yes. And I think you should give up. Not. Hey, if you don't know me, I'm Julian, and on Ido Blocks, I teach blockchain development with a beautiful French accent. I see many newbies with zero programming experience who want to jump straight ahead into smart contract programming, Solidity, etc. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Not so fast. You have to realize that blockchain is built on top of many other technologies. This is a schema of a blockchain app, also called a decentralized application or DAP. On the front end, we have a web application that runs in a web browser. It uses all the technology of the web like HTML, CSS, JavaScript and React. The front end is connected to what we call the smart contract. I will explain more in detail what is a smart contract after, but to develop a smart contract, you will use some development tools that belong to web development like Node.js or NPM. If you don't know already web development, you will not know what comes from web development, what comes from blockchain, and it will be very confusing and you will have this massive information overload. So my kind of advice as an experienced blockchain developer and the proud owner of a YouTube channel about blockchain development, my kind of advice is to just start with web development. But web development is big, really big. Front-end, back-end, full-stack, mobile, DevOps, databases. With blockchain apps, we are mostly on the web, not mobile. We don't really have a back-end. And since we don't have a back-end, DevOps is less useful. As for databases, the smart contract act as your database, so we don't really need MySQL, PostgreSQL, etc. That leaves us with the front-end, which means you need to learn HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and a front-end framework. I recommend React, which is the most used in the industry. You will also need to learn Node.js, NPM, and how to use the terminal because that's required for a lot of development tools. Once you feel comfortable building a simple web application, it's time to move to blockchain. With so many blockchain out there, Ethereum, Binance Smart Chain, Cardano, etc., it's really easy to get lost. Here's what is super important to understand. Ethereum is the most active blockchain in terms of users, transaction volume, VCs, developers, and job opportunities. You will hear some people saying, oh, but there is this new blockchain here. It's more scalable than Ethereum with lower transaction fees, blah, blah, blah. A lot of these Ethereum killers either sacrifice centralization for scaling or reuse the technology of Ethereum like Binance Smart Chain or Tron. On top of it, Ethereum has already attracted such a huge ecosystem around it, it has developed strong network effect and it's almost impossible for other blockchain to catch up. And finally, Ethereum will be more scalable in the short term thanks to layer 2 scaling solutions and in the long term with Ethereum 2.0. So for all these reasons, you should absolutely start your blockchain journey with Ethereum. Later, you can check out all the blockchain if you want, but start with Ethereum is really the standard in the industry. To learn Ethereum, you will need to understand how a blockchain works. For that, I read the book of Andreas Antonopoulos, Mastering Bitcoin, and it has helped me tremendously. You will also need to learn how data is structured on Ethereum with accounts, Ether balances, etc how transactions work and how the EVM work. The EVM is the Ethereum virtual machine and it allows to run smart contracts, some small program that run on the Ethereum blockchain. And these smart contracts are what make Ethereum so special. Once you start them, nobody can stop them or change their code. And they can natively move money, which is a huge advantage over traditional web applications. And once you understand the basics of smart contracts, you will need to learn how to code them. There are different programming languages for smart contracts, but the most popular one is called Solidity. Solidity is a language that looks like JavaScript on the surface, but which is actually quite different when you dig deeper. Solidity is a compile language, which means you need to compile it every time you make a change. You can't just run it directly like you would do with JavaScript. When you learn Solidity, you will need to learn how to read, write, update, and delete data on a smart contract. You also need to learn how to do financial transfers with Solidity, like Ether transfer or ERC20 token transfers. It's also very important to learn about testing smart contracts. When you deploy a smart contract, you can change its code after, so if there is any bug, you can fix it. 
since you manipulate people money in smart contract you need to make sure the code has no vulnerabilities in 2020 more than 100 million dollars were stolen in smart contract hacks so you don't want to be part of this long list that's why you need to learn smart contract security and how to write secure code in solidity when you develop a smart contract in solidity you will also need a smart contract framework the standard in the industry is called truffle truffle manages the whole compilation and deployment process for you it also has a built-in development blockchain called ganache that allow you to develop your smart contracts in a safe sandbox isolated from mainnet the production network of ethereum you might also use a solidity library called open zeppelin which contains safe implementation for some code we use all the time like yas 20 tokens if your blockchain app only has a smart contract the only way to interact with it is to use the command line not very user friendly that's why you also need to add a front end for your end users The front end of a blockchain app can be a mobile app or a web app. In most cases, it will be a web app, so you should focus on this. The front end of your blockchain app is 99% like a standard web app. You will find all the traditional technology of the web, like HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. There are two big challenges with the front end of a blockchain app. The integration with wallets like MetaMask and keeping the state in sync with the smart contract. Since the front-end will be very dynamic, it's better to use a front-end framework. There are a lot of frameworks available for front-end, but I recommend to use React since it's the most demanded on the job market. You will also need to learn Web3, a JavaScript library to connect to the Ethereum blockchain. You can technically directly use the API of Ethereum without Web3, but it's not very easy, especially because of the encoding required when you specify the function and arguments that you are calling on smart contracts. So it's just way more simple to use Web3. So are you ready to become the next Satoshi Nakamoto? Yes? The next step in your blockchain journey is to learn how Ethereum works. And for this, check out this video. I will see you there.